Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cobra, also known as It's Miss K. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to my channel, I do share my financial journey here on YouTube and my content revolves around my money mindset as well as my money management. So if it is something you think you'll enjoy, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss any other future uploads. All right, so I'm ready. I'm ready to close the chapter of 2022 and move on. <laughs> So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my how much did I save um, in 2022. And yeah, hopefully this video is not going to be too long. Um, I had a goal of 20K. Honestly, I'm not even sure if I hit it because I know like for a couple of months, I was not very diligent with my mm, saving. Let me just be honest with you guys. Um, so another element that I would like to mention is I did my cash stuffing. So I guess a big portion of my savings would be through my cash stuffing methods by utilizing my 2023, sorry, my 2022 savings book. And then I also did um, digital savings, I guess, actually just like transferring funds through my accounts um, on weeks or the months I was not as active here on YouTube. Remember, you guys, I was like not as active. So I just did everything digitally. Um, so there's money that I have already pulled out that's in the bank money that I had already transferred that's in the bank, uh, money that I have here. And so I'm just going to go ahead and take all of that into account and give you guys a total as to how much I was able to save. And yeah, so um, I have money for my saving challenges. I also have money for my sticking funds. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and unstuff all the money, all the bills, whatever, from my binders um i'm not gonna be telling you guys well i guess you guys can see how much i'm saving as i own stuff but i'm not gonna be ca i'm not gonna be telling you guys exactly how much i'm saving for each category because it would take forever and your girls on a time crunch and honestly i've been putting this video off for a while now just because like i feel like it's just kind of like overwhelming so i decided to just do whatever was easier for me so that's what i'm gonna do um i hope that you enjoyed today's video I don't think I'm going to be talking um, throughout this video. I feel like I'll just get lost in the sauce and it would take a lot longer than usual. So I'm just going to be putting something on to watch and I'll go ahead and unstuff. And here and there, if I have something to say, <laughs> I'll go ahead and just spill it out. But yeah, um, so I guess the first thing that I can do, um, you know what? Let me show you guys something. So first of all, I guess I'll go ahead and do my savings challenges first because that's where a bigger portion of my savings are coming from. And I'll also show you, I guess, the challenges I have completed. All right, so... I would say I completed like half of my 2022 savings book um, by physically stuffing. Um, my money and stuff so i completed my 2022 saving challenge the five dollar saving challenge i'm not too sure if it was completed because you know how it is inflation and recession honestly like i barely had any change left but we're going to go ahead and unstuff that and whatever we've saved we've saved um i did not do the 50 dollar challenge but that's okay invest in me same challenge by the way i think that's another thing i should probably mention if you do get a savings book okay whether it's mine or from anyone else on youtube like although your goal is to if your goal is to like finish the whole challenge that's great if you achieve that that's amazing but i think it's important for us to mention like even if you don't complete your savings challenge book um and like you a lot of time it's okay you've already done progress and just be mindful that like you've saved a lot of money already and that you should be proud of yourself. So I think this year, honestly, my focus is just to be kind to myself, be patient with myself. I'd be too hard on myself. And I've realized that like a lot of people do the same. So it doesn't matter what it is. Focus on your own journey. Baby steps is all that matters. Saving something is better than saving nothing. So even if you complete one single challenge, you're doing amazing. All right. All right. All right. So we completed the invest in me saving challenge. I really like this challenge actually. Um, my thousand dollars saving challenge, my all aboard saving challenge. They have started, um, what's it called during the summer, whatever. Not as much because I had school, but hopefully this when this summer is gonna be a little bit different. Um, next we have also the fifty two weeks saving challenge that's completed. That was a bigger challenge. Um, I did not do the five k. Oh, I did the hundred envelope saving challenge that was completed as well. 
um as you can see like every same challenge i kind of put in what the money would be used for um so i already know how much i'm going to be delegating for each portion of my fund so there we go and then what else did i save i did oh, i really like this challenge i think i'm gonna bring it up yeah i already brought this challenge back for 2023 so i'm probably gonna be doing this early on for the year um i did the fan fatale challenge i did the loose change oh yeah that's another thing i need to take the change to the bank and kind of swap it up for bills and then i also let's see and then um i didn't do this one i did this one all right so there we go <laughs> actually i think i did more than half um of my 2022 savings book but that being said let's go ahead and simply start is it this one no, actually i think it's bring up right all right nothing crazy y'all i'm just going to go ahead and take my savings challenge binder all right so the first binder i'm going to be unstuffing is my black binder so this is my savings challenge binder as you can see it's pretty thick so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it and yeah i guess i guess i might just for fast forward most of the parts that was not so boring uh, most of these bills are not organized so yeah but i guess another disclaimer i would like to mention is um if you're not if you don't feel like wherever you're keeping your money is safe then please be mindful of that for me um i definitely feel like my money is safe at home so that's not an issue for me but i've had a lot of questions as to like you know safety and stuff like that um keep your money in the safe that's what we do uh, but make sure you just do whatever works for you right all right so i'm gonna go ahead and play a video i don't know if you guys ever go back to your watch later playlist on youtube but i have a bunch of videos i've been <laughs> putting to the side so i'm just gonna pick one and go ahead and watch a couple of videos as i do my cash stuffing or cash on stuffing rather first off we have my 2022 savings challenge All right, moving on to my five dollar savings challenge. This one is easy because it's just a bunch of fives. So just a bunch of fives. All right. So by the way, I'm just gonna be unstuffing everything, and then I'll just kind of like count each denomination individually. That way, we can know what our grand total is. Next is invest in me. Um, boom. So a lot of these challenges um what's gonna happen is i'll be like paying myself back um so i guess i'm kind of doing the way i did my same challenges is kind of like paying myself forward everything that i really needed for the year that i had anticipated i had already had some money aside from i guess my previous savings which means i already had the funds available so i'll just go ahead and put this money back into my bank account all right so all aboard i've went to a couple of trips so this money is gonna be going back to me thousand dollars in challenge is next and this money goes towards my what is it called um paying off my student loans i don't have much left so i'm really eager to like just pay that off to be honest All right, femme fatale. This money was honestly meant to just level up. <laughs> I've been getting myself a few things that I felt like I needed to just kind of like work on my appearance and how I present myself. And yeah, it's all about leveling up. No matter how it looks like to you, it is different for everybody. So that's what that money was meant for. 52 weeks in challenge. This money goes towards my CFSA. Right, so I All right, so our last challenge is this 12 month savings challenge. I'm not too sure whether I had a specific um, goal for this one. 
Oh yeah, so basically this money was meant to go towards a buffer. So our first binder is, is all empty. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my sinking funds binder. Starting with this one. By the way, when it comes to my sinking fund, um, I'm going to be unstuffing everything. And I just wanted to start from, from scratch. I felt like it would just be better for me. And yeah, so we're starting from scratch and everything that I have saved will be categorized accordingly in my savings accounts or in my bank accounts rather. All right. All right, so this one here is my main priority or my higher priority sinking funds binder. That is first. Emergency. All right, emergency is done. Medical is next. Next, we have car maintenance. We have business. So high priority is all empty. We're ready for a brand new journey. Moving on to my lower priority. Is this my lower priority? No, this is actually my self-care binder. So moving on to my self-care binder. So we have clothes first. My focus for this year when it comes to like shopping online is to really get rid of a lot of things that I no longer be using. And I feel like I am constantly decluttering, but for some reason the clutter comes back and I just need to make space for, you know, just make space without adding to the space. So that's really what my focus is. Beauty is next. Honestly, ever since I have not been like so heavily into makeup, I've been saving so much money. Like I don't only buy my necessities and that's been a game changer. Gym. Perfume, I low-key slow down on perfume a lot, to be honest. I have this thing, like, whenever I'm into something, I kind of go hard, and then the hype dies down, and I'm just good afterwards. <laughs> um, so then we have nails. I do my nails at home, by the way, y'all, so it doesn't cost me much, to be honest. And we're good. All right, so we're all done with my self-care binder. Moving on to the last binder, we're going to be unstuffing. It's my low priority sticking funds binder. All right, we have gifts first. Then we have tech. All right, we got our last two categories. Roll over. And then we got buffer. All right, so we're all done with my lower priority sinking funds. All right, so this is all the money from my same change binder and then from my sinking funds binder. I don't know if you guys remember, but for those who don't remember or for those who haven't seen my video, I also did my 100 envelope same change. And I've been procrastinating to take it to the bank, um, knowing that I was going to film this video pretty soon anyway. So I'm going to simply take the box in which I had kept it in, all right, and I'm going to put it in. Usually, I'm pretty, like, adamant or pretty structured as to, like, taking the money to the bank. Just knowing that I was going to film this video anyways, I just kind of waited a few days, so it's okay. But this is um, my unstuffing money from my 100 envelopes in the challenge and i guess i'm just gonna go ahead and say it like you know you don't you shouldn't be keeping all of this at home um unless you feel secure and honestly even though you feel secure you should not be doing so i just i just procrastinated this time around not gonna lie i don't have excuses i just procrastinated and yeah so there we go this one has already been um organized prior to because i had already filmed my unstuffing video for my 100 envelopes in challenge so it's going to be quite easy. Yeah. All 
right so we're all done alhamdulillah i'm grateful because i know i would not have been able to achieve my goal or just to achieve whatever i've saved honestly in general um that god so it's my first thing is to say i am grateful and alhamdulillah i'm grateful for being able to stay consistent even if it was for a couple of months shorter than what i had anticipated it's okay um yeah so let's go ahead and count all of these de denominations individually it kind of looks pretty doesn't it that's one thing about anything can see all right so as i count each denomination i'm going to enter the quantity right here that way we can have our total and then i'll just use my calculator and let's go and start Twenty. Twenty. So that's forty. Sixty. Eighty. One hundred. So hundred five so far. One eighty, one eighty nine. So we have hundred and eighty nine for dollar bill. So one eighty nine. Moving on to our ten dollar bills. Twenty. And I think I'm just gonna make a line here. That way I know whatever the system is called, but that way like I get to keep track and I'm not confused. So one set. All right, so all done with the tenants. Let me just do the math real quick. So I got five plus nine. All right, so let's put these tens right here. Oh, so basically we have nine sets of 20. So nine times 20, that gives us 180 plus the six individuals. So you already know that's 186. So let me go ahead and do that so 186 six is the number of tents that we have all right moving on to our 20 dollar bills mm -hmm.
plus 13. All right, so we're all done with our 20s. So we got five, five, that's 10, 13 sets of 20. It's two sets of five, so that's 10 plus three, 13 times 20. That's 260 plus 13, so that's 273. So our total number of ten dollar, I mean, our total number of twenty dollar denominations is two hundred and seventy three. All right, now we have our fifties and our hundreds left. Fifties and hundreds are not going to take too long. One. So we got four sets of 20, that's 80 plus 7, that's 87. So 87 $50 bills. That's 87. Lastly, our $100 bills. It's gonna be quick, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we got nine of those. All right, so let's go ahead and do our final calculations. Um, so we got 189 $5 bills. So that's a total of 945. Moving on to our $10 bills, 186, that's 1860. 1860. Then we got our 20s, so 20s times 273. That's 5460. And then 87 times, sorry, times 50, that's 43.50. And then 100 for this right here. And then we got our grand total, 9.45 plus 18.60 plus 54.60 plus 43.50 plus 900, that's 13. Oh, I forgot the other one. Okay, hold on. 13,515. Hold on. Boom. So that's the money I have on hand right here, cash. Plus, I forgot to mention. Well, I didn't mention it, but I forgot to include the money in bank. So I'm just going to do bank. And I already know the money that's in there. Um, Let me check my notes. All right, so in my notes here, hold on, because I need to make sure. Um, the other notes are not being shown so i don't know if you guys can see kind of like pretty okay right here so the money um that i put aside in the bank is seven seventy twenty five, 70 25 so seven thousand twenty five. so i'll just go ahead and include that right here so 70 25 so now let me just do the final count plus 70 25 so in 2022, I was able to save a total of $20,540. So that's how much I was able to save. And yeah, there we go. Alhamdulillah, I'm grateful. Let's do $20,540. So that's how much I was able to save for the year of 2022. I'm not going to lie, the saving challenges are definitely a means of saving money um, in a more consistent basis. So... I'm going to link down below my 2023 savings book. Um, that way you can go ahead and have a look. So honestly, if you want tips, just find a system that works for you. That's what I've been doing. Make it fun. That way you can make it sustainable. Um, I use all the products that I used to save are basically listed down below. Mainly, mainly I'm going to say it's my savings books. Um, if you're new here and you don't know what I'm referring to, just wanted to go ahead and show you my 2023 savings challenge book. So this is what I'm going to be using to save another 20k, God willing. So this is just a quick flip through of what you will be getting in this savings challenge book. It is undated and a lot of these challenges are customizable. So it is fit for any type of income. So I will be linking it down in my description box. So I also have the digital version. 
happy saving let me know uh, if you make it made it all the way to the end of this video go ahead and leave me a money back emoji if you did make it all the way to the end of this video and feel free to like you know give people here on the platform or I give anyone that's reading the comments one tip that you would give someone if they're trying to start their financial journey mine would be just start and be patient and don't compare yourself i guess that's three things start be patient and don't compare yourself all right and every single dollar matters that being said thank you for all the love and support and that's pretty much it for 2022 we've wrapped it up i'm eager to start a new journey a new savings journey for 2023 and yeah i guess i'll go ahead and lay down my goals in the next video all right take care y'all peace and love bye